I love the WCC. All right, so um, the high today is around 85, and so we're gonna be making sure to take, you know, breaks every once in a while and definitely keep hydrated, just like Sean's doing here. <sighs> <laughs> Here at Nisqually Wildlife Refuge, we have many bodies of water. And as with most places in Washington, bodies of water means beavers! This is one of the culverts that we uh, unclog weekly that the pesky little beaver likes to clog. Wait, what's that over there, Sean? Do you hear it? I, yeah, I think I hear a beaver. Oh, that's a beaver! Get it! Billy the beaver! Billy the beaver! Beavers! He has an herbicide license. Can I see your herbicide? Herbicide license? Herbicide. Herbicide. Ah! Me! You're not allowed to keep it right now. What? You're not allowed to All right, did WCC give you the opportunity to earn that? Absolutely. They All pay right. for my training and my fees. Nice. Dropped it. Oh, I dropped it like it's hot. Uh, the WCC also gave us the opportunity to go uh, to the Kalakam Tarp Fire. <laughs> This year, um, we had the opportunity to build an embankment um, in the tide flats here. Um, there's a little tide channel, as you can see, that goes through the mud, and it was cutting a little too close to the bridge um, that people walk across to get out um, real far out there. I think this boardwalk's like a mile. So we filled up a bunch of sandbags with sand and um, ATV'd them out here, and we stacked them up. And it only took us about a day. They gave us a week. Yeah. We did it until we ran out of sandbags.
Action! Oh, hey there. So, earlier this year and all through this year, especially during the winter months, um, at Nisqually, we did several big planting projects. I think we planted, you know, a little more than 2,000 plants all year. And um, it was especially important here at the bluff where, um, as you saw before, lots of shots of scotch broom. This place used to be used to be, you know, second growth forest, but then a housing development company came in and clear cut the place and they were gonna put in a bunch of houses, but economic crash happened. And so it was just a field taken over by Scotch Broom. So we've been coming here with schools and by ourselves and planting plants just like this one, the Douglas fir. And hopefully, you know, in the future, these, these trees will grow really big really big and sort of shade out the scotch broom and the thistle and